Okay, so we're going to learn how to do macros, but we're going to break this down into two different videos. The first video, we're going to look at creating the material that you want to work with, and we're going to be looking at the RAND between uh, function and conditional formatting. And then the end goal is we'll have fragment the data and defragment the data. And that is kind of what we're going to end up with. So first, we're going to start with creating this main picture here. Right, so first we're going to start by creating our disk or our virtual disk. So I'm going to take 10 by 10, 10 blocks by 10 blocks. Let's take uh, these 10 blocks here. Is that 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, that was just a guess. 10 blocks there and I'll oh, make it a little bit bigger, maybe 50. And I'll create 10 blocks this way as well. We'll make that 50 as well come on 50 not 60 oh darn that's close enough good right so there we have our 10 blocks by 10 blocks let's just give them borders and one big outside border as well first thing is we're going to create our key where we're going to be using numbers 1 2 3 and 4 and 0 okay number 1 Let's just say number one will represent a Word document. Number two could be an image file. Let's say three is a spreadsheet or an Excel file of some kind. Four could be a video file. And of course, free space. Zero is just free space. There's nothing that's been recorded to the disk just yet. And let's give them all a color. Now, in terms of colors, I'm going to stick with the primary colors at the, at the bottom, just so it's quick and easy to find. So, word can be blue, uh, an image can be dark blue, uh, Excel can be green. There's my green. Let's make the video red. And, of course, free space is going to be white. So, let's just make it white on purpose. Now, it's time to do our conditional formatting based on the numbers and the, the easiest thing is just select all of our cells and we go to conditional formatting we go to highlight cells and text that contains no 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 equal to there we go format cells are equal to one the number one and we're going to not use any of these default ones we're going to create our own ones so custom format there the fill of that cell is going to be what did i say blue and the font, this is also important, the font must also be blue, so it kind of becomes invisible. And I'll show you why. So whenever I put a number one in a cell, that cell becomes blue as well as the font, so you don't see the number one inside that cell. So let's go ahead and repeat this for all the other cells and the numbers as well. So first, select all of the, all the cells that you want to work with. Conditional formatting, highlight cells equal to and the next one's going to be the number two. And let's do a custom format again. And I'll work through these and then uh, I'll give you a chance to catch up. Okay, cool. So I've done all of my conditional formatting here. You can see everything that has a number one is blue, two is dark blue, three is green, four is red. Anything with a zero is white. Now it's time to apply this in terms of a rand between function so that you can see what it's going to look like. And this is kind of the easiest thing ever. Watch this. I select all of my cells that I want to play with, okay? I then put in my rand between function. When I get there, it ran between 0 and 4, and control enter, control enter, voila. Oh, do you see I forgot to put the zeros as whites? Whoops. Okay, that's been fixed. I forgot to add the conditional formatting to everything for the zeros. So there we go, it's all completely done. You'll notice that if anything changes in my worksheet, the randomizations just kick in. Okay, and that's the first start. Of what we're going to work with in terms of uh, our macros and teaching the concept of defragmentation and fragmentation so that's the first start so go ahead and create this and then catch up in the next video